The Harmony of Saint Cecilia and an Angel, a painting by Raggio Gentilesi and Giovanni Lanfranco. Araggio Gentilesi and Giovanni Lanfranco, two prominent Italian painters of the Baroque period, collaborated to create this exquisite painting of Saint Cecilia and an angel around 1617-1618 and 1621-1627. Saint Cecilia is the patron saint of music and musicians, and she is often depicted playing an instrument or singing. In this painting, she plays a small pipe organ, while an angel holds up a piece of sheet music for her. The painting, which is now in the collection of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., is a masterpiece of light and color. The scene is illuminated by a strong light source from the right, which creates deep shadows in the dark background and highlights the figures of Saint Cecilia and the angel. The color scheme is rich and harmonious, with the dominant tones of red, blue, and gold. Saint Cecilia is shown from the knees up, taking up the left half of the painting, she sits at the organ, which is near the right edge of the composition, and angles her body to the right. Her hair is light brown, pulled back into a braid, and wisps fall on her forehead. Her skin is pale and smooth, and her head tilts down toward the organ. Her eyes are closed, as if she is immersed in the music. She wears a cherry red dress with a squared neckline and olive green sleeves over a white shirt. The sleeves are voluminous and pushed back over her forearms, as she rests her fingertips on the keys of the organ. She also wears a pearl necklace and earrings, and a gold bracelet on her right wrist. The angel is shown from the waist up, taking up the right half of the painting. He stands behind Saint Cecilia, and gazes toward her with a gentle expression. His hair is light brown, short and curly. His skin is pale and flushed, and his wings are silvery gray. He wears a topaz blue garment that drapes around his shoulders and chest. He holds up a piece of sheet music in his left hand, and points to it with his right hand. The sheet music has two lines of notes written in, and one staff empty. The empty staff may suggest that the angel is inviting Saint Cecilia to improvise or compose her own music. The small organ is angled away from us, so we see one narrow end and the row of low pipes along its back. The organ is dark brown, with gold decorations and knobs. The dark brown background lightens behind Saint Cecilia's head, creating a halo-like effect that enhances her sanctity. The painting of Saint Cecilia and an angel is not only a remarkable work of art, but also a spiritual document that reveals the culture and society of the Catholic Counter-Reformation, a period of religious revival and reform in the 16th and 17th centuries. The Council of Trent, which was held between 1545 and 1563, reaffirmed the importance of saints as intercessors and models for the faithful. Images of saints, especially those related to music and art, were popular and widespread. They represented the beauty and harmony of the divine, and the joy and devotion of the human. Araggio Gentilesi and Giovanni Lanfranco, who were both influenced by the great Caravaggio, captured the beauty and harmony of Saint Cecilia and the angel with their skill and style. They used light and color to create a vivid and dynamic painting that conveys the essence of their personalities and relationship. They also used the classical forms and motifs of antiquity to give them an idealized and graceful appearance. They combined these elements with their own originality and creativity, and created a distinctive style that made them one of the most influential and prolific pairs of artists of their time. Their paintings, in particular, are renowned for their realism, vitality, and richness. The painting of Saint Cecilia and an Angel is one of the many masterpieces that Araggio Gentilesi and Giovanni Lanfranco created during their career, and one of the finest examples of their painting. It is a testament to their artistic skill, and to the harmony of Saint Cecilia and the Angel and their era.